Boom! <laughs> Hi guys, Bill here. Welcome to the workshop. Well, in past videos, I've had comments about the chips that get all over the tool rack. And so I've decided to do something about it. I'll build an enclosure to cover the tool rack and fit it with a row of brushes along the front so the tool rack can slide in and out of the enclosure, totally protected from the chips. And that's what today's video is all about. So, let's get started. Did I mention I had one, two, three blocks? Ha <laughs> ha! And here is the very exposed and totally naked open tool rack. I forgot to mention, first, before I could do anything with the tool rack cover, I had to raise the gantry 50mm. So we'll start with that. I had to be a little bit innovative with this fixture. Just tramming it into level. It's good enough. And so just probing the corner to set my coordinates. Just spot drilling the four holes. Check drilling with retraction. And all done. Okay, and so just trialing the fit of this razor block, riser block. Oh, that is so neat. So, raising the gantry 50 mil. Dead easy. The Egyptians can do it. Why can't I? Got enough blocks and spaces. Just jimmy up one side at a time. So I get those 50 mil alloy spacer plates. They're the longer support plates and the riser blocks sitting in there. Coming along great. And so with all the tool holder inserts removed, I have to reprobe all the tool holder holes in the rack to confirm their position. And another job done. And here we are just assembling the brushes that will go across the front of the ATC cubby hole. <laughs> Coming along. And so now just doing some testing of the new tool rack enclosure. Rack slides out through the brushes. There'll be a tool change after that. Rack will slide back through the brushes into its cubby hole. <laughs> oh, a little bit of theatre there. Yeah, 
think that'll work great. It's drilling with retraction. Drilling 8 mil with a home CNC, pretty good. Top off the 8 mil drill. Picking up the 8 mil 3 flute DLC coated cutter. And let's start spraying some chips around. Rack's nice and clean. Yeah, it might be. Two or three tips on there, very small one. Wow, big improvement of what I what it used to do. And fill rack slides back, eyes behind the brushes. Last operation, chamfering. Just cutting this out a bit of scrap just to throw some chips around to see how well that uh, tool rack cover works. <laughs> and that's the program done. Turn to home. Yeah, pretty happy with that. I'll just manually bring the tool rack out. Let's just have a look. Yeah, it looks pretty clean. Very clean. Happy with that. Oh, Bill's a happy boy. Ha <laughs> Sliding tool rack. Appearing out of nowhere. Fantastic. Great project. I really enjoyed it. I'll do a little bit more fine tuning just to get it perfect. But all in all, turned out great. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>